Oh uh, yeah, you, you're right. You can. You can. Shrink don't Believe it all. Shrink don't say you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the preacher don't get to tell you. Stop. Stop. I got baptized in 2013. I had a picnic. 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 I got baptized in a picnic. Baptized in 2013. So, so anything on here is talking you know about the this stuff you. right here. Because yeah. the, 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 the church picked that baptized me. Let it all out. It's the baptized of the church baptized me. I done picked that church 2008. Okay, but to answer your question, when they end coming, it's soon. Because the signs is all the signs is popping off right now. All the there's signs that's letting you know what times we're living in. Okay, right. So we can't give you a specific time. Okay, uh, we can show you around the time around. We're in that time now. Part of the church is right here. No, you can't go. It's true. Because you're not God. How did you get that? You're not a God. 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 you are not a god 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 you are Word of like like he said, she def she uh she def that's the foul one when she was talking. That like he brother said she came up here just vomiting all over the place. That's right, that's right. Let me get to this part. It's in uh, James three and eight. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. <laughs> that's nice. That's real nice. Real nice. Hey, that's what comes out of these people's mouths is poison. Poison, when every time these people speak, it's poison come out. A vomit comes out. You know what I mean? Vomit is acid, man. Yeah, that's acid. Stomach acid. And bad shit. That's all mixed together, man. That shit eats up and tear your shit up. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to hear that shit, man. But, but she's like... I think she meant... That's good, though. That means we doing something right, then. She's a mental yeah. retard, you though. You think that happens in church? Dude, that's average. That's average. Yeah, yeah. That's 99% of all. Let's say 95. Let's give them some love to but, then you but, but, but does this happen in the church, though? Does it be no, controversy no, no. in the church, though? Nah. Come on, man. Hey, let's get back to that side of the Gamora, though. controversy in Texas, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that dude had assault rifles, and he had two handguns. Y'all fight, baby. Y'all fight. 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 Y
I have. <laughs> Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as it is good in your eyes. Damn. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came in to soldier, and he will needs be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sour upon that man. They threatened him. Threatened him. That's crazy. Even Lot and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness. So the angel hit him with blindness. Both small and great, so that they were themselves to find the door. So that, so that proves right there that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because they is homosexual. Where do you think the word sodomy comes from? That used to be a crime. Once upon a time, it was against the law to commit an act of sodomy to mean, mean be a homosexual. You know what I mean? They claim it's still going on, of course, the They claim, claim, because you know the uh, them princes and shit overseas, they do shit behind doors. Man. Oh, yeah. They still put people to death for that homosexual. You know, you know Israel is fine. And Saudi Arabia? Right. What Islam, they, a big thing. But Islam, they teach it's okay to have sex with little boys, though. Pearl, they call them pearls. Yeah, they call them pearls. Yeah, pearls. That's crazy, man. I guess it's a sin just to have sex with a grown up. They know motherfucking Saudi Muslims. Uh, Ishmael went to all kind of child molestation. They be marrying little girls as young as five yeah, years I old, man. That. You know, they, they, have a, they spend millions of dollars on a wedding with a little girl five years old. Man. Wasn't Muhammad's uh, first wife or something like five years old that he had sex with her? They, they married at six, but he had sex at none. Oh, okay, yeah. there you go. And that destroys their uterus, man. They ain't no good the rest of their lives, man. And he's wearing, he's wearing their clothes, too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, clothes. Yeah. Yeah. so what was he? <laughs> See, them hypocrites, man. Them Muslims. Ain't nothing but a bunch of hypocrites, man. Muslim Ain't they catching hell right now? Like they catching hell, right? There's a reason why they catching hell. First of all, they got another god and all their uh, their hypocritical practices. You know, those guys fucking everybody up. Pretty terrible, it everybody really is. It's hey, to get you. Hey, the, the Most High bringing all this little bullshit to a halt. Hey, hey, that's why the Bible calls the Most High what? Al Shajid. In, in Hebrew, Al-Ashaja means, well, the King James translated as the Almighty God. But in Hebrew, Al-Ashaja means a terrible demon-like power. Woo! Because, it, because the Most High is, is terrible, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't want, you don't want to, you don't want to tempt the Most High. The King of Terrors. the King of Terrors. Just, please, go ahead. Go ahead. Here's the you got family in Haiti right now? You got family there? Because they saying it's still kind of desperate there, ain't it? Ain't all that money that was sent there to hate help the people or they put into the money. I don't know. Yeah. They ain't getting none of that money. Yeah. 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 You know what that is? Uh, like That's because in the past, there was a great uprising against the slave master. The Haitians would kick the white man's ass at one time. You know what I'm saying? That's when you got to read about, uh, like, uh, Gabriel Cross, uh, Tucson Overture and all them. Those are bad motherfuckers, man. They kicked the white man's ass. That was probably one of the only successful slave revolts. It is. If, if, the if there was side. any other. And it's not, it's not even greedy. It's not teaching nobody about that. Right, right, right. It's like they don't teach nobody about Nat Turner. Yes, yeah, it's great. It's like, it's just trying to get a good thing. Right, right, right. Romans 10 and 2. So I'm prepared to record that they have a zeal of God. So they got a zeal of the most high, you feel me? People know, they, they know, they believe in the most high. You feel me? They believe. They be like, I'm blessed. Yeah. Hey, oh, I got baptized. I got baptized. They got the zeal of the most high. At a picnic. A court. Hey. Hey, hey, the Lord said I come not to baptize with, uh, with water. But with the word. Yep. Well, that's what Paul said. No, yeah. no, no, yeah. That's what, but but John the Baptist said, "I baptize with water, but the one that coming after me baptizes with fire." Fire. So did y'all get that fire baptism? <laughs> no, that's what we got. 
we got baptized in that fire. Cause it, that's how you, you try to go through the fire. Don't miss your bus, your bus coming out of affliction. Yeah, that, that's that fire of affliction. Because when you dig gold out of the earth, you can't just take gold and start crap. No, you got to melt it down and get all the impurities out of that gold. I mean, it's gold, it's good, but it got some work that needs to be done with that gold first. That's the same with the brothers. Like, we find a brother that we get a brother off the streets or whatever. He comes in the truth. That he's like he's like a, a, a bar of gold, but he still got all them impurities in it. So you got to melt you got to melt it down. You know what I mean? Get all them impurities out of it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we still got impurities. Yeah, until we get the fuck out of here. Exactly. Because we still be doing uh, we still be doing some wicked shit. We pray the Lord to take all that shit away from us. You know what I mean? That's going back to the so-called white man, man. This word is set up on wickedness, man. Going to work. That's the, it just, it just, it just something. That's why we pray for the Most High. Yeah, I'm by showing you how it's trying to come through this world. Hey, that's why the Lord's Prayer says what? Lead me not temptation. Right. Hey, there's a whole lot of temptations out here. You know what I mean? Shit can be hard out here. All that you surround by nothing but evil and wickedness, man. It's nowhere you, it's no, it's no place. That's why they always, these other camps and uh, besides the Israelite, other groups, they always talk about moving. Where the fuck are you going to move to where it's peaceful? Like Verizon said, he yeah. got some land down in Alabama or something. Yeah, where the, where's the peaceful world? Where in this world is there a peaceful place you can go and it's peaceful? You cursing me on your ass? Like, you go, where, where now? Where can you go? Yeah. Right. You go back to Africa. Hey, they, they, Google will find your ass with Google Earth. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> they be like, hold up, we got one. <laughs> yeah. They over there being peaceful. Let's go get his ass. Yeah, you, go, yeah. you can't go cut down a rainforest and build a land or something. White people come, he's going to be like. Oh, right, you do not have the authorization to be here. Yeah, if, if I went out in the middle of the woods somewhere, and built, like you said, built a little log cabin. They were like, oh, you do not, you're not authorized. You know, they'll lock, they'll lock you up. They'll lock you up because you wanted to live on the earth. You go to a place where nobody knows, and you're still telling your ass, you still can't be here. Yep. That's some bullshit. Nobody, nobody, you know what Nobody's even here. They go to the hotels and shit, and they go to the hotels all the way at the back of the shit. Oh, what's his name? Chris Silver. And some other, uh, Edom Mike, faggots, demons. That's when they come up with the, uh, well, anyway, that's when he, that's when they established what they call the WWF, World Wildlife Fund. Yep. The World Wildlife Fund is a land grab, so they can have control over everything. You know what I mean? Only them motherfuckers, at least, can go and kill a, 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 a rare a rhinoceros or a rare elephant. You know what I'm saying? Or we a rare they, 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 they kill they, what they call them, poachers. Yeah, poachers. They don't lock them up, they kill them. They kill them. But that was a land grab for their control of lands, man. So that's the answer to why you, we go to places that never people been, then get out of here. You don't belong here. Them curses follow you to that land. Nobody goes And they really don't like them when Jake moves out of the city either. They want to keep everybody in these mega cities. In these highly distant. Because it's easy, it's easy to control you. They got you all herded together like cattle. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they got they, they don't hurt, they got everybody herded together. City got a population of what, like 10 million people? God. And that's a that's a small area right there. How you fit that many people in that little small ass area? Densely populated. Densely populated. Same thing with Mexico City. I think it's not the biggest city in the world is Mexico City, ain't it? The most highly populated is Mexico City. That's one of them. Yeah, East, yeah. 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 yeah Tokyo. But Mexico's even more popular, more condensed than Japan. Yeah. And that's why when that earthquake hit, man, all kind of people was dropping dead. Chris Phillip, no, not Phillip, but the son, he said there's a, uh, not the son, the grandson. What's his name, Prince? Uh, Prince Charles. Prince Charles, he came out and said there's too many people in the world, man. Oh, no, that was Prince William. Up. Prince William. I seen that, was in the news, Prince yeah, Prince William. Yeah, not yeah. there's too many populations, the population is 
it's out of control, so they're speaking code word, they're gonna do something. Well, about Prince it. Philip said he wanted to be reincarnated as a, a deadly buyer so he could kill him. Right, that's his mentor. Yeah. So where the fuck he get it, that's why the scripture we refer to him as children of fools, man. Yep. Base they're men. children of base men, right. You got a base on like piece of shit teaching you, you're gonna go out and be doing the same fucking thing, man. So now that all this talk about these diseases, they, there's a new Ebola. <laughs> they say there's a new back plane. No, that's the Black Death. They're, they saying there's a new one. It, that's, that's the one in Madagascar. No cure at all. And they said it started. Oh, Africa. To, they say Africa. Well, it's, it started. They said it started in Madagascar. That's it started. And, and now it's starting to spread to the east coast of Africa. That's crazy. And that's the Black Death right there. Can't be cured. Too. They say huh? they have a 90 some percent oh, yeah. fatality rate. That's crazy, man. And, so it's air, and, it's, and it's airborne and contagious. Yep. Like, cause you know, like Ebola, you can only catch Ebola through fluids. But now that that, that that new plague is airborne, you catch it just by someone sneezing, or you know, it's way easier to catch it. You know what I mean? These are these diseases. How they get rid of? You ever go to the hospital and you see a hazardous thing that dispose of? It? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and this one, the, the rest one is put in trash. Where that shit going, man? That's they're a good they're disposing of the shit in those chemtrails. That's where the shit is going. That's how they're disposing of. Just like they're disposing of a lot of nuclear waste and all that is in those fucking chemtrails, man. That shit is being they they spraying us with the shit, man. Those uh what they call them uh, pathogens. Those are pathogens. Shit they done dug up from the past, but Esau has his way of putting a steroid on to make it multiply. You know those fucking pathogens. All that is the most high putting that spirit. Put the spirit in the uh, white man. I, but the white man was set up to be, be the devil, man. So at the end of the day, you can't be surprised, like. That's true. But at the end of the day, our people don't know the white man's the devil. They, they, you tell them that he's the devil, they're like, no, he's not. Or they like, really? Like. I think you think these motherfucking things are going to be hit with pestilence and diseases and earthquakes and diverse places, man? These people are going to get it, man. White man is winning, though. I cannot, he's winning. He got the, the, the people deceived. To the fullest, like y'all go out here and vote. Do I actually think your vote count? Huh? Hey, it just came out. The, the, uh, the, the, you see the uh, the Democratic Party? They said the whole Democratic uh, primaries was rigged for Hillary. The head, the head of the Democratic Party came out and said it was all rigged for Hillary. They said that Bernie Sanders should have won it, but they just gave it to Hillary anyway. That's just the whole the whole thing is rigged. You know what I mean? They was up there in the women's office and shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at these fucking buildings, man. That's against the that's against the most high, man. That's an abomination. The, uh, the, uh, that's an abomination. Abomination. That's a proud spirit. Man, who in that rock my room would have be all the way up there? I get scared just looking at them. Then the baby. And the thing is, somebody got to get up there and fly through the fucking window. Oh, fuck that. That's, that's a business that's what they're doing. Making big money. Oh, we saw them in the building over there the other day. Yeah. Count me out on that yeah, one. They making big money. They making big money. Man. Esau ain't going up there. He going to pay you fucking That's crazy, Jake, man. Yeah, that's crazy, Jake. Jake crazy, man. Jake, Jake, Jake do anything for a dollar. Before, <laughs> Jake do anything for that bitch. Well, you know, they get paid for that. Bitch, yeah, that's, a, that's big money. I'm going to have to investigate that. Curiosity. I, mean, damn, I will never do it. Hell I'm fuck no. How much money? I will I'll, never do it. I'm scared of death of heights. Yeah. You ain't getting me up there. Get a, they ain't getting the most high. You probably did some wicked shit, man. He just... I dust the wind or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, check it out. Over in the, on the West Coast, on the West Coast, the housing market, you know, the condos that got in the buildings, is falling the fuck apart. Which they, they trying to keep it as quiet as much as possible. Because those buildings are starting, they start to lean. Oh, and their investors is selling, 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 and nobody buying. <laughs> Those is falling apart, man. That's America falling apart, man. That's the whole West Coast, the whole fucking West Coast. <laughs> the motherfuckers is committing suicide, man. They say the West Coast is a big homeless epidemic too. Everybody, they say there's so, there's so many homeless people out there. Dude said he lost. 50% sold his condo, which was valued at like $6 million. He said, I, I want to get rid of the bad man, so I just went into the 50% loan. $6 million for a two bedroom, two bedroom, that's it. Two bedroom, two bath, condominium, laying up there and shit, you know? That's some funny shit, man. 
So that's just the sign that America's losing. Who would want to live up there? What you gonna do when there's a fire? Like you said, proud man. They're proud people, man. And you see what happened in the you trade. Better give me a, you better give me a parachute. Right. Shit. You know, emergency parachutes, fuck a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Shit. Then you gotta rely on the elevator. Then you got the steps. Man, you gonna be man, about you're finished. Just like in the trade center, man. Them motherfuckers way up there. It wasn't nothing but Jake's up there anyway. Stupid. Yes, yeah, sir. Stupid. You see what happened? Like you think if the plane just passed in the middle or anything happened in the middle, the people at the top ain't nothing they can do. When we was young, man, we first started coming down here, we used to go to the nation. It's called a, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a restaurant at the top of that nation. Oh, yeah. That's a restaurant. It's an expensive restaurant. Yeah, it's free and shit, man. Huh? Go in there. Yeah, anybody can go in there if you can afford to live, if you can afford to eat. <laughs> you can go up there. But we used to go up there just to look. Yes. And then take it. But the air, the elevator is on the outside. You can watch the, everything. Uh, right, right. And actually, you know, you go to the top of these buildings, that's where they be sacrificing their children. One nation, that's what it's called. That's where they be having their sacrifices on the high on the high places. Because they like in the they probably got telescopes up there so they can look at the stars and everything. Especially this building looked demonic as hell. It looked like some weird shit going on that one. The way, you no know, way, it's up, like the middle part of it. Isaiah 14. It does. It says, Hell from beneath is moved to be to me. I got coming. Stir up the dead. One deep, man. Come on, the uh, ramp out. It's just like Yeah, you can't drive down the road without. Uh, Alone with a tire, throwing out a tie rod, damn pop. Here it is, they taxing the living hell out of you. The roads are the worst roads in the damn in the country. You know what I mean? Potholes everywhere. But it, no, none of that tax money go to the infrastructure. They ain't got the money for it either. They don't they don't have it. They're not investing it. They invested in their military to get ready for World War II. Yeah, you're right. That's it. That's where the majority of the budget goes, is the military. Right, and these motherfucking disasters, like in Texas, like in Florida, like in Puerto Rico, they ain't got no money for that shit, man. You know, America's like a third world country. You look at countries like South Korea, that's like the most technologically advanced country in the world. You got, people from other nations come here, this is like the slums. Yeah, our, medical, uh, our medical field is the third world country level. Because there's one doctor for like 150 patients, which is, if not worse now. If it's not worse Plus now. Plus everybody's you, sick. Yeah. It's worse now. So it's at a third world level right now. You go to the ER, how long are you going to be waiting in that bitch sitting down, dropping dead, oh, losing blood? Yeah. Hours, right? Right. And that's a fact. Hours. And here it is, you're supposed to, if you fucked up, you, you ain't got time to fucking wait. You feel me? You ain't, if you shot or something, they talking about you got to sign these papers. Like, you better do the old Western <laughs> movie way. Throw me on the table, pour some whiskey on it, get them, uh, this, yeah, that's the only way, cause man, you'll drop dead way. You'll drop dead. Yeah, he's so clever, man, cause he's got these East Indian doctors coming up here making like twenty five dollars an hour, and that's it, man. And you know they put that and them East Indians and Esau too. They, there's all kind of cases when the doctors put you under. They'll be putting their balls on your mouth while you're passed out. They do that. They rape. There's all kind. It just came out. Uh, some doctor was raped a woman. They they raped the hell out you while you're. Uh, under the anesthesia and all that? I'll oh, go ahead. No, we're talking about these high buildings. This Obadiah. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's an actual scripture where it said that the wicked going to be given to the physicians of the world. Let me see what I'm doing. Obadiah. Verse 3. The pride of thy heart has deceived thee. Thou that dwells in the cliffs of the rock. Oh, that's some pride. Like, uh, did you hear? The Defense Department, when Trump's over there in Japan right now, over there saber rattling, right? But he just said, uh, it, well, the, the Department of Defense just said, the only way we can uh, fully guarantee that we get rid of North Korea's nukes is we have to, we have to have a ground invasion. They got to send the ground troops in. That, that's the pride of their heart. North Korea has the third largest army in the world. Not the tenth. That's the third. They, I'm praying to go in that bitch, man. America and Russia is number one and two. I mean, the UK's bad as fuck, too. They're not even number three. You know what I mean? And France is bad. They got some shit. But North Korea is number three. And, and, and uh, the military can't even handle goat herders in the Middle East. 
in, in Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. So what you think is going to happen when they go up against the most, the most well-disciplined army on the planet Earth? They going, y'all going to get fucking slaughtered. That's what makes America? Why, why can America go around to these other countries and take their missiles, but America can keep theirs? But like, what kind of police in the world? You feel me? Because the, the white men know that these other nations coming against you, man. They rising up, man. Because they, because that's how the white man back then he was, he was getting them. Right. North Korea ain't never invaded nobody. Yeah. They got invaded. Yeah. You know what I mean. What makes America so great that they can go around and take everybody's business? That's because the so-called white man, when he do start this war, he just wanted to just he ain't gotta put up you ain't gotta put up a fight. You feel me? You just go over there and just take it. But these other nations ain't going. The other nations, they gonna rise against the white man. Oh, you got it right there. Read, read out Obadiah, I tell you that. It's uh this deal come off the buildings too, but yep. 